Hello, I'm at Genius Kitchen and this is Ask Nigella Anything. Right. OK, so Genius Kitchen viewers have asked this or that. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate or vanilla? Well, chocolate and vanilla are very good together. My life would be enormously diminished by the absence of chocolate. I really don't want to reject vanilla, but I can't let you take away chocolate. Red wine or white wine? It depends. It so depends. And sometimes I want both in the same evening. You're a funny lot here. You want me to... You know, we're, I'm of the more is more school, you know? Now, coffee or tea? For me, <laughs> this is an easy one. I am a tea addict. You ask me about red wine or white wine, frankly, I would choose tea over red wine or over white wine. That's easy. Next. Are fresh eggs better when making pavlova? Should they be at room temp or cold? Now, the only time I keep an egg in the fridge to be cold is when I'm poaching eggs or if I um, am making chocolate cookies, but that's another story. You get more air faster into room temperature egg whites. So I start off with room temperature eggs. Now, when making toad in a hole, I think we call it toad in the hole, do you cook your sausages in the fat in the pan and then add batter? Or do you cook them separately and then add batter to the pan? I definitely fry the sausages in a pan and then I pour in the batter. But actually, I squeeze the sausages out of their sausage skin and I roll them into little patties and I fry them and then I pour the batter on and that is fabulous. Um, OK, so this is if you could only have one condiment for the rest of your life, what would it be? I can tell you so easily, Coleman's English mustard. I like mustard to have a lot of fire and, in fact, I haven't got my purse with me, but I do have a tube of it in my purse. So, we've had a lot of Genius Kitchen viewers, you know, writing to us about confusion over British foods. Angels on horseback, bubble and squeak, stargazy pie. And I'm going to be the person to try and explain them to you, OK? You want to know what a chip butty is? I can tell you what a chip butty is. It's a sandwich with chips in it. Uh, no, not what you call chips. It's a sandwich with fat fries. But normally soft white bread, butter, bacon in or chips or you know, fat fries and I want one now. OK, you want to know about Welsh rabbit, which is normally spelt rabbit, but we say rabbit. That is probably the world's best grilled cheese. It's highly recommended, highly. Right, let's see this one. Hot topic in the office today. What is the difference between pudding and dessert? Well, we, strictly speaking, in Britain do call pudding and dessert the same thing. I mean, it is the same thing. I know it's confusing for Americans because pudding is normally like an unaerated mousse. I wouldn't say dessert. I would say pudding always. What's for pudding? That's what I would say. This is a question here that I'm going to give away the answer by weeding out the question. How do you pronounce scone? I've answered. S-C-O-N-E, which I know is often pronounced out of the UK, scone, but it is scone. What you call a cookie, we call a biscuit. And what you call a biscuit, we sort of call a scone. You know, as uh, George Bernard Shaw said, two nations divided by a common language. 